Hello, good evening. Members of the House Committee on Petroleum Downstream, led by Honorable Joseph Akilaja, visited the NNPC Towers on oversight to check preparedness for Yuletide by the corporation in terms of product supply. They got assurance and gave commendation. We have the presentations to share with you, and closely related is the 70% 2027 Nigerian content target. A commitment of NNPC's new focus on localization and something came from London that is not imported. Talking about the 10th Energy Capital Assembly takeaway, Transfer Cardo's pipeline surveillance contract, the correct and authentic perspective of what really happened. Plus, Corporate Services Autonomous Business Unit is stepping up automation for service excellence. That's it in terms of this week's package. I'm Akinya Bujuli. This is All and Gas Forum. Under President Muhammad Buhari, we've seen where there is fuel. You make your choice of where to buy fuel. You make shakara for them. No panic to buy fuel. Say them get fuel jabrata for ground. Sabotoir. Sabotoir. All of una where they tiff tiff with fuel. And petroleum station where they hold smuggle and divert our fuel. Go neighboring country. Plus people where they build small small tank and sell fuel past our government price of 145 naira per liter. Stop a mo. Because why? Now big offense now. Now jail straight away. NMPC say our government no increase fuel price. Now still 145 naira per liter. So therefore, no buy black market. No do panic buying. And no fuel day we go go round. Nigerians, if if you see any petrol station where they sell fuel past our government price of 145 naira per liter, Kia Kia report to the nearest security agency when near you or the Department of Petroleum Resources. Na Ndu Ohamadu, Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, NNPC, sign this message. By way of introduction, National Assembly commends NNPC on fuel availability plans at Yuletide. Multi-billion dollars investment opportunity showcase coming from the London outing, interesting takeaways. And NPC clarifies Transfer Cardo's pipeline surveillance contract. Service excellence and placed via automation across board, courtesy of CS Connect. When we return, you will be connected to the details shortly. The Nigerian National Assembly has commended the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation on the strategies deployed so far to make petroleum products available to Nigerians throughout the end of year festivities and beyond. Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Petroleum Downstream, Honorable Joseph Akinlaja, gave the commendation during an oversight visit to NNPC Towers. We want to commend NNPC that this session, this unitary period, there is no sign, there's no sign that, that there will be fuel crisis. We have come here on oversight and we are satisfied with the presentation from the four companies that are here. The GMD, he was represented by NNPC Chief Operating Officer Downstream Engineer Henry Ikemobi, lauded the committee for its support during the last field supply hiccups that occurred in the country from November 2017 to early part of this year. And we also want to give uh, this committee had a lot of commendation uh, for helping us make that happen this year. It's through your support that NMPC has been able to cope with the challenge of meeting the needs of the Nigerian people in terms of the supplies of petroleum products. On his part, Managing Director of the Petroleum Product Marketing Company Limited, PPMC, Mr. Umar Ajia, disclosed that the company has returned to profitability with a trading surplus of 32 billion naira between January and November 2018. First time, I would say, in the history of the company, too, it's been able to declare a 32 billion uh, net positive result. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, and the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, have committed to growing local content in the oil and gas industry from the current 40% to 70% by 2027, 
as part of strategies to sustain economic development in the country. NNPC Group Managing Director, Dr. Mekanti Baru, made this commitment while delivering a keynote address at the 8th Practical Nigerian Content Conference in Yenagoa by Elsa State, saying, strategies for implementing the NCDNB local content development includes closing human capacity gaps, skills acquisition, and assets ownership by indigenous companies, among others. In our determination to maximize participation of Nigerians in our projects and domicile project activities in country, NNPC has been implementing the Nigerian content policy as enshrined in the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act, even before the enactment of the Act in 2010. The Governor of Bielsa State, Right Honorable Sirek Dixon, loaded the NNPC for aggressively growing the Nigerian content in the oil and gas industry. We have a very stable and very promising operating climate. And it is our hope that we'll continue to improve on it. Because with the stability that now exists. The Executive Secretary of NCDNB, Engineer Simbi Wabote, applauded the NMPC for driving sustainable economic development through the board, even as he assured of the benefits of the initiative to the country going forward. Going for the provision of gas-fired power plant for the park in Bielsa State, while communications have been opened with the NIPP station in Udupani, Cross River State, for the power supply to our park across the road. Ongoing drive by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC to increase Nigeria's crude oil reserve was taken a notch higher with the unveiling of multi-billion dollar investment opportunities in the nation's deep offshore frontiers of the 10th World Energy Capital Assembly in London, United Kingdom. Delivering an address at the panel session entitled Spotlight on Africa, Group Managing Director of the NNPC, Dr. Mikanti Baro said, Globally, Nigeria has the highest untapped deep water resource of about 10 billion barrels of oil equivalent, in addition to other vast opportunities in the oil and gas value chain. The NNPC GMD, who was represented at the event by the group General Manager, Corporate Planning and Strategy, Mr. Balawunti, explained that Nigeria has the largest and one of the most vibrant economies in Africa, but lots of potentials, especially in the gas, refining and infrastructure space. He further explained that NNPC has a clear strategy for harnessing these potentials through collaboration and building robust partnerships as entrenched in the corporation's 12 business focus areas, being aggressively driven by the leadership of the corporation. The World Energy Capital Assembly is a leading gathering of energy executives, finance and investment professionals to discuss emerging and re-emerging energy investment opportunities, reveal deals done and chart an outlook of energy-related activities across the globe. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, has reiterated that there was no plan to carry out mass retirement of staff. The group managing director of the corporation, Dr. Mekanti Baru, gave the assurance at a program tagged CS Connect, organized by the Corporate Services Autonomous Business Unit, ABU, to showcase its products and services to the public. In a keynote address at the event, the GMB charged the management and staff of the corporation to go about their duties and continue to give their best to the corporation and ignore the rumors of SARG. So there isn't any element of truth that we are going to embark on a mass sack. Feel comfortable, do your work properly, come for your work on time, stay as much as is required, and deliver your best. And CS Connect will be your best friend. In his opening remarks, Chief Operating Officer, Corporate Services, Isa Inoa, said the occasion was primarily for the Corporate Services Autonomous Business Unit to account for its mandate. We are here primarily to account for the mandate the NMPC gave Corporate Services. We are here to learn. We are here to listen. And we're here to have fun. 
High point of the event was the presentation of five awards to the Group Public Affairs Division from five different divisions for supporting service excellence under the Corporate Services, ABU. CPAD collecting uh, several awards and you've not had any other people collecting. The theme of the CS Connect program is integrate, automate and elevate an NPC's business to next level. The CS Directorate is showcasing its services and asking staff to make contributions on how best they've been giving them services. We really wanted to be accountable as um, an enabler. Uh, we wanted to be able to look at our customers and say that we have delivered A, B, C, D, E to you. CS Connect helped us connect with our customers, who are the staff, as well as the external, who are the suppliers. CS is providing the platform for all of us to be able to achieve our goals and objectives within the corporation. The management of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC has preferred informed perspective on the reported award of oil infrastructure surveillance contract to an indigenous firm, Ocean Marine Solutions, for the protection of the strategic 87-kilometer transfer cargoes pipeline, TFP. The NNPC, in a press release by its group general manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Undu Ramadu, explained that the decision to assign the TFP surveillance package to Ocean Marine Solutions was reached after considerations of huge losses on TFP and rigorous appraisal of the company's impressive record of performance on the Bonny Port Harcourt and Worry X Cravos Crude evacuation lines. The corporation clarified that the new contract, which requires the contractor to pay for any damage to any inch of pipeline under its watch, offers immeasurable benefits to the NNPC, its joint venture partners, the host communities, and the entire federation. According to the NNPC, faced with massive losses in projected revenue, stakeholders in the TFP, which today account for daily production throughput of over 250,000 barrels of crude oil, were unanimous in the decision to seek better ways of ensuring reliability and availability of the line. The Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Dr. Mekente Baru, has disclosed that the corporation's procurement bills dropped significantly due to the establishment of a cost engineering department and called for institutionalizing cost management units in all organizations in the country to promote transparency and integrity of contracting system. The NNPC GMD made the disclosure at the Annual Conference of Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering, AACE, Nigeria section. We've seen a tremendous drop in terms of our procurement bill because institutionalizing the cost aspect, we're able to put together what we call the project sanctioning program. Engineer Johnson Awoyemi, president of AACE, commended the GMD for his contribution and interest in the principle behind cost engineering as well as the association, saying the association would continue to provide technical support to NNPC to enable it achieve its mandate. He's joined up with us. He's still standing with us. If not GMD support, AACE won't have been able to do anything because AC Global, we, we are pressed by your participations. The Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Dr. Mekanti Baru, has commended all workers under the ages of the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nupeng, for their commitment and uncommon loyalty to the growth and development of the Nigerian economy through the years. Speaking at the 40th anniversary celebration of the union in Abuja, the NMPC GMD said, the oil and gas industry and by extension the Nigerian economic landscape is reaping the benefits of having forward-looking leaders in the unions. Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria at the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nupeng, for the smooth 
and cordial relationship existing between the industry and the unions. In the same vein, Minister of Labor Dr. Chris Ngige joined the NMPC GMD in commending Lupeng for providing the much needed stability to the nation's economy, noting that oil workers' display of maturity in tackling industrial disputes has helped to steady the economy. I wish to very, very, very leave from my heart congratulate you at 14. Big Fernando Lupeng that uh, please don't deny uh, all these people the means of traveling uh, up and down the country uh, during Christmas time. Also speaking of the event, President of Nupeng, Prince Williams Akboraha, expressed gratitude to the federal government for creating an enabling environment for industrial harmony and prosperity. Nupeng has, in the last four decades, positively and creditably contributed not only to the growth and development of Nigeria oil and gas, the enthronement of industrial peace and harmony in the oil and, and gas, but it has also positively impacted on the socio-political and economic development of Nigeria as a nation. Highlight of the occasion was the presentation of the award of Grand Comrade of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry to President Muhammad Buhari, while the GMD of NMPC backed the esteemed comrade of the progressive workers of the oil and gas industry. The determination of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC to ensure that Nigerians have a zero fuel scarcity end of year celebrations has received a boost. With the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, pledging to resist any action that could lead to a disruption in the present seamless flow of products nationwide. National President of Pengasan, Comrade Francis Johnson, restated the union support for the corporation's zero fuel scarcity plan at the 5th NPC Pengasan Group Executive Council Triennial Delegates Conference in Abuja. The general of NMC is the captain of the industry, and that means he should only so much responsibility to make sure that this industry is very stable and things are going on well. Speaking earlier, Group Managing Director of the NNPC, who was represented by the Managing Director of the Petroleum Product Marketing Company, PPMC, Mr. Umar Ajia, commended the unions for sustaining the existing cordial relationship between the union and NNPC management, while thanking the executive for their maturity in resolving industrial disputes. The entire management of NNPC is highly delighted with the leadership of the unions as we've always enjoyed collaboration and mutual understanding in our relationship over the years. A non-governmental organization, Halima Factor Community Initiative, has commended the NMPC for its commitment to youth empowerment and sustained support in promotion of quality education in the country. Founder of the group and convener, Gombe Day of Literature and Creativity, Mrs. Halima Usman, gave the commendation during the fifth anniversary of the initiative which took place in Gombe. The work ethics, the human relation culture in the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, top down, they have a unique culture that respects whoever you are, no matter how small. They will listen to you. I'm indeed very grateful to Dr. Mekanti Barrow. The General Manager, Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, Mr. Ahmed Lamino, who represented the corporation, said the NMPC would continue to identify with any initiative that is geared towards the promotion of youth development through education and other empowerment programs. As our slogan says, we touch your lives in many positive ways. Indeed, events and activities like this are pedestals upon which we reach out to our different stakeholders. Hello, we're glad to have you join us on the feedback segment of the program. My name is Julia Auta. 
it's that time of the year that most organizations take stock and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation as an effective corporation is not an exception. On today's episode, our roving camera on the street is zooming in views of what Nigerians expect from the Nigerian National Oil Company. So please, we expect that they should make sure that there will be enough oil. Let there be no first casting. You know, in the in the end of the year, there are some, there is a, many travelers from east, west, south, north. They should just allow the situation to come like this. What I expect them to do is to increase their distribution, to make it easier for the uh, petroleum station to get the product easily and fast. They should bring more product to us so that we can be able to get more community and travel to where we are going. To. So let them supply as normal so that everybody will get uh, foil easily so that he will travel safely to his uh, hometown. The NNPC group led by the group managing director Dr. Mekan Tibaru is doing everything humanly possible to surpass the expectations of Nigerians. This is the much time will allow us on this segment. Please stay with us for more on the program. Hello, good to have you join us on yet another informative segment of the program. I am Abigail Ojobo. Did you know that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, is deemed to be the exporter for all federal government crude oil and gas liftings? Did you know that the Nigerian Export Supervision Scheme, NEST budget, is appropriated in the yearly national budget? The NMPC NAPIMS administers the budget and payments under the scheme. Did you know that the Crude Oil Marketing Division, COMD, provides the lifting profiles and the actual price to compute the free onboard export value? The NMPC export liftings are segregated into MPDC, PPMC and Federation liftings with the inclusion of modified carried arrangements DPRO and FIRS. Did you also know that nest levies appropriated through NAPIMS are applicable to Federation liftings only? Now you know. Please stay tuned for the rest of the program. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil prices jumped more than 5% on Friday as big Middle East producers in the organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC agreed to reduce output to drain global fuel inventories and support the market. Brent crude futures rose $3.26 per barrel to a high of $63.32 in early trade. Brent had fallen below $60 when it looked as if oil exporters might not agree. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crew WTI rose $2.62 to a high of $54.11 per barrel before slipping to around $53.90. Prices fell almost 3% on Thursday after the organization of the petroleum exporting countries ended a meeting in Vienna with only a tentative deal to tackle weak prices. Talks with other producers were held on Friday. All prices have plunged 30% since October as supply has surged and global demand growth has weakened. But Iran gave OPEC the green light on Friday to reduce oil output by around 0.8 million barrels per day from 2019 after finding a compromise with rival Saudi Arabia over a possible exemption from the cuts, an OPEC source said. And that's about the size of crude oil outlook on this edition of the program. I am Solomon Yopave. We want to commend the NPC that this session, this unitary period, there is no sign, there's no sign that, that there will be foil crisis. And we are assured that uh, the unitary will be peaceful because there, will, there is a liquid supply of petroleum products, so people need not panic. That's been all and gas forum for this week. Thanks for joining us. It promises to be a great week ahead. 
go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Let's meet next week. Bye now.